Hey guys, it's Seth. I wanted to chat a little bit about how auto following, though a neat concept, is not the best concept. Um, the idea I've talked in the past about how Twitter's a party, Twitter's a cocktail party, how you should keep it open and let people join and talk to you whenever they, you want and kind of create a party. So I did an experiment for a few weeks. Um, I auto followed everyone who followed me, I followed them back out automatically. Now there's some good parts and there are some bad parts to this. Um, the good part was that everyone, you know, I followed, followed me, I followed them back and they felt loved and, you know, I felt loved back and all that stuff. But I also followed a lot of spammers and Twitter is becoming worse than email when it comes to spammers. So I had spent a lot more time, you know, looking into, you know, who is a spammer, who is not, you know, these direct messages like crazy and completely ruined the experience for me on Twitter. So much so that, you know, my ranking and Twitter feeds, you know, dropped and I didn't, I didn't tweet as much as I should have. And I really lost out on hearing about a few people, you know, unfortunately passed away that I didn't know about. They were on Twitter. I didn't know that they passed away because their tweets were lost in the feed. I mean, I use a seismic desktop and I have quite a few window, you know, bars open to keep things occupied. But I was too busy cleaning things out that I missed out on the important news. Um, that being said, um, one thing you might want to pay attention to while being on Twitter and building your brand up is you do want to follow as many people as possible, but you want to make sure, and this goes back to Gloria Bell, um, she's at Gloria Bell on Twitter, that you got to make sure each, each Twitter relationship is meaningful. If they're getting something out of it, you're getting something out of it, and you build a relationship. I was at a tweet up that Gloria threw, threw yesterday along with Beth Hart and some of the other Twitter guy, people. Um, and I was talking to Gloria about this, and she said, you know, that honestly part of, you know, Twitter is a lot of her good friends she's never met before. She's just talked to through Twitter and has, has really good relationships with them. So when one, you know, one of her friends passed away and her daughter came on and they heard she rest in peace, uh, her daughter came on and said that she died suddenly, you know, it was a big shock to Gloria. I mean, it was a big shock to me. I didn't know that because I was too busy doing spam, but, um, you really do develop, it's different from the chat rooms and MySpace and all that now, because you're actually developing relationships. It's real-time chat, updates constantly, and you're sharing information, you're sharing links, you're sharing little parts about yourself in, in, a, in a room, essentially, a figurative room, um, that, you know, that people, you know, get to know you and care about you, and when we see each other, when all, we all see each other at the tweet-ups, people enjoy it. Um, I do have to comment a little briefly about um, what Will Reynolds wrote in his um, latest piece on his The Syrian Interactive blog. He kind of really went really harsh on social media experts. I mean, he's the best there is in you know SEO. I don't doubt it whatsoever. But he kind of went a little harsh on tweet ups, which he's been to. He's been to tweet ups, and he enjoys tweet ups. I know he does. He has a good time at them. But for some reason, you felt the need to say, well, if you go to tweet ups and you're not you know, dealing with your, you know, your client stuff you know, all the time, then, you know, you're not, you shouldn't be doing social media marketing. Well, that's not the point. The point is building your brand. If you can build your brand, it doesn't mean, it means that you can probably build someone else's brand. And it's learning how to do it and building your brand up. Because no one's going to hire a social media expert that has three followers on Twitter. You have to get the followers and get the relationships going. And I, honestly, I've gotten some great deals through Twitter. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm from tweet ups where I actually get to meet with people. It's a great networking event. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, Seth Goldstein on Twitter. I'm also at Philly Tweet Up. And we, me along with Neil Weiser, we run the, the monthly tweet ups in Philadelphia. And we really feel that, you know, it's not only is it social, between social and social media, we're actually able to put a face to people who we talk to online and even build these business relationships where we work together. To be perfectly honest, Neil Weiser on Twitter, we're good friends now. We work together on We're working together on a few projects right now. I didn't know him from Adam before Twitter came along. I knew I met him at the, the, one of the first tweets I went to. And we became good friends and we're now working on stuff together. I mean, it's a Twitter relationship. And, you know, don't knock it. Maybe, you know, have your opinion. And I understand that was Will's opinion. But, you know, sometimes tweet ups do work for some people. You know, meeting people face to face. A lot of people are really good salesmen that way. Sometimes they're not trying to sell and they get business. So, that being said, auto following is not the best to do. You, I would not suggest it because sometimes you can't turn the damn thing off. Um, and they keep on getting auto followed. 
It's also used to clean out your account after a while, and it, it just messes everything up. Also, build your relationships. Follow people who follow you. It reciprocally follow each other. But make sure you can stay on top of things. If you can't follow people, uh, 3,000 people, and meaningfully, then don't do it. I mean, I'm able to usually keep in track of, you know, at least a good 2,000 people on Twitter. Maybe not as well as I could, could at 200, but I'm able to keep track of the people who I really care about, and I'm able to skim through the rest of them and really see what they have to talk about as well and interact with them. Uh, I'm also blessed that I work for myself in this wonderful office of mine. And, you know, it's just... Don't, and also then the tweet ups. You know, you have to be active in the, in the social media. You have to get out there and meet people. And the best way to do it is through tweet ups and meet ups and putting yourself out there, chamber events. And, you know, yeah, you're not working on your client sites all the freaking time. But maybe getting out there and networking, maybe you're getting more clients at these tweet ups. They're not all social media experts at these tweet ups. A lot of them are just on Twitter and they're kind of curious about it, but they're not really sure how it goes. So don't knock someone else's technique on how they get business or how they really decide to use Twitter. And the, the, just because they do it a different way from you does not mean they're not a social media expert. A lot of them aren't. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of snake oil salesmen out there. There's a lot of bad ones out there. But there's also a lot of good ones out there that might do stuff that you don't necessarily agree with but that are, are pretty darn good. So that's my take. Sorry, it's a little bit of a ramble, but sometimes you have to ramble to get the point across. Take care, guys.